Let us discuss three forms of a complex number. Any complex number can be expressed in three different ways. Out of that one form we have already seen that is Cartesian form. So Z is equal to X plus I Y. This is called Cartesian form. Okay. So when you have any complex number, we can express it X plus I Y. X is real part. Y is imaginary part, right? So this is called Cartesian form. Next is polar form. Z is equal to R cos theta plus I sin theta. We call it as polar form. Okay. And the last one, Z is equal to R e raised to I theta. This is called exponential form. Exponential form. So that means when we have any complex number, we can express it in it three different ways. Okay. So in Cartesian form, we use variables X and Y, but in polar form and exponential form, we use variables R and theta. Okay. So actually both of them are same since there is a relation e raised to i theta means cos theta plus i sin theta okay so that means if you put the value of e raised to i theta here you will have a polar form okay so both of them are same so that means when we have any real complex number okay in x plus i y we can convert it in uh, polar or exponential form by finding r and theta and conversely also when we have any complex number okay in polar or exponential, we can easily convert it into Cartesian form. So let us see what is the relation between them. So when you have Cartesian form, you can find R and theta in this way. R is equal to square root of x square plus y square and theta is equal to tan inverse of y by x. Okay, so when you have the values of x and y, you can easily find values of R and theta using these two relations. As well as when you know the value of R and theta, we can easily find values of X and Y using the relation X is equal to R cos theta and Y is equal to R sin theta. So now let us see what is the geometrical meaning of it. Okay. I will draw two different graphs here. Okay. So when we have any point P, if you have expressed it in terms of Cartesian form, that means if you know the values of X and Y. So X, okay, so that means if you take projection on X axis, if you take projection on Y axis, so this distance is nothing but X and this distance is nothing but Y. But see in polar form, what happens? In polar form, we know the values of R and theta. R means distance of this point from the origin. So this distance, okay, the length of this uh, line segment is R. And it makes some angle with positive x axis that is theta. So this is a geometrical interpretation of r theta and x y. Okay. So I hope you have understood. Make a screenshot of it. After that, we will discuss one example. Let us discuss this example. Here we have a complex number z is equal to minus 1 minus i. And we have to express it in a polar form. So that means we have to find the values of r and theta first. See what is x and y here real part is minus one imaginary part multiple of i is minus one again. So we have the values of x and y. Let us find r. What is formula of r? r is equal to square root of x square plus y square. So let us put values of x and y. x is minus one. y is also minus one. If you take square of any negative number, 100% we will have positive number. So here also square of minus one is one square of minus one is one. So the value of R is root two, right? Let us find theta now. What is the formula of theta tan inverse y by x, right? But see, it depends on position of point. It lies in which quadrant we will decide the formula of theta. If point lies in first quadrant, the formula of theta is equal to theta tan inverse mod y by x. If the point is in second quadrant, theta is equal to pi minus tan inverse mod y by x. Here for third quadrant, pi plus tan inverse mod y by x. And for last and fourth quadrant, theta is equal to minus tan inverse mod y by x. Okay. So see, for this point, x and y, both of them are negative, right? So that means the point lies in third quadrant. So it lies in third quadrant. So I will use the formula theta is equal to pi plus tan inverse 
mod y is minus 1, x is also minus 1. See, minus minus will get cancelled, right? As well as there is mod, so no need to worry about minus sign. Simply, we have to write the value of tan inverse 1. What is value of tan inverse 1? It is pi by 4. So, therefore, theta is equal to pi plus pi by 4. So, that means it is 5 pi by 4. So, we have value of r as well as we have the value of theta. So, we can easily convert into polar form. So, z is equal to what is the form r? What is my r? Root 2 cos theta that means cos 5 pi by 4 plus i sin theta that means 5 pi by 4. Or you can express the same number in exponential form also. It's very easy. Root 2 e raised to i theta that means 5 pi i by 4. So this is a required answer. Okay, make a screenshot of it. After that we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.